swimming would probably fall in the coming of age genre, but it's a little bit different, I think, than, than many of those films. It's a much more personalized view of one young woman uh, who is a local townie in Myrtle Beach. Good used car costs. I can't do this another summer. I'll be sticking body holes when I'm 50. Because then there's insurance. And that costs a lot, I think. I'm done just looking at you. You're not hot as fuck. And you can't go swimming in those clothes. I don't want to go swimming. <laughs> Just one more day, Frankie. I know. There's gonna be people on this beach. I mean, ugh, we're gonna be walking around. There's gonna be people. People. It's about her struggle to sort of uh, bring herself out and discover who she is uh, and to be more assertive as a person. And. The film was made in, uh, to be sort of a very sort of flattened landscape with no big emotional highs, much more like a French film, like maybe some of the things that Eric Roma does. And uh, the idea was that you watch this film, you go through the events very much from the point of view of Frankie, the main character. And by the end of the film, uh, sort of almost unbeknownst to you, you've accumulated a sense of change uh, through the events of the film. And rather than having sort of the big cathartic moment and that often comes with uh, narrative American films. So, what do you want to do tonight? I don't know. Just I think maybe I have plans. Uh, one of my uh, gra uh, seniors wrote it as a senior uh, thesis film at Purchase College, where I teach uh, narrative filmmaking. And um, she and I didn't get along very well, but I liked the script and thought it had possibilities, uh, so I optioned it. And then, of course, we went into script conferences, and uh, for the first three months, we didn't talk to each other. <laughs> The other one was sort of a memoir b based on her experiences working in Myrtle Beach and it was kind of episodic, rambling, and unshaped. And although there were some of these characters in it, they didn't seem ha to have a purpose. There wasn't causality in the script. They didn't seem to have a, a sort of a reason for existing. It was sort of a big world and I liked the world. I also have always wanted to make a sort of a coming of age film and uh, for me, the only way I could make a film like this is, or any film is to be able to identify with the emotional moments of the film. So I, I think the film that most influenced me uh, was a picture called Marty, uh, made in the 50s uh, of a Shaevsky uh, uh, television show. And this is really my remake, if you will, uh, of Marty. Uh, and, and, and what I could bring to it, in, in essence, uh, and inject into the screenplay by, uh, Lisa Bazadon, the original author, was uh, the sense of Frankie as a character, which is really kind of shaped more after my own experiences. Uh, although clearly, I'm not a woman, at least I don't think so. Uh, <laughs> uh, I think there's so many similarities in growing up that I was able to find what resonated with me and, and bring it to the character. And then I had uh, 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 Lisa as my absolute, you know, uh, litmus test. If it, you know, didn't resonate and it wasn't honest to her, uh, it didn't go in the script. And um, that's one of the things that we strive very hard for in the film was the sense of honesty in the material. It was a very delicate picture to write, trying to get the relationship right between Frankie and Josie, the kind of uh, sexy waitress was, I think we spent three weeks just talking about the bedroom kiss and, and, the, and, and the resonances that, that sprung out of that. Thank you. 